Hello guys! I'm here with my hair today, which hasn't been washed for a month, exactly today. Yes, the 9th of December. <laughs> um, and I want to show you today how I do the preening. How do I distribute the sebum, the oils, down the hair shaft to the very ends. I have been reading a lot on this topic to find out how I do the preening. And it seems like for the non-vegan people, they all use a ball bristle brush. It is a brush with ball bristles. And I have been researching a lot um, to find out if it's like if there are cruelty-free vegan ball bristle brushes, and there officially are. But to be honest, I'm not really believing they really are because so there are people who in companies who claim that their boars are raised humanly and the bristles like they, they are not killed for the bristles and stuff and that may be but you know you never know and I personally find it hard to believe that because who who's gonna prove that you know and I never used to be like that. I never used to care about animals, but now that I'm vegan, I got much more sensible to things like that. And if my attitude is just if if it's not necessary, then why like and it never is necessary that animals die. So why should they? So I don't want to support that, and I wouldn't ever have a ever 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 have been happy <laughs> to to present that to you so um, I made my own so I don't use a ball bristle brush. I did use them for a, for a few days when I borrowed it from my friend Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> and um, and it, it was great, but I just like I just couldn't buy one myself. I didn't want to support it. And I know that there are alternatives, like not really like a hundred percent equaling the effects. Of ball bristle brush. Oh, by the way, ball bristle brush is, is just great for the distribution of the oils because it, it um, takes the oils and it also gives the oils back to the hair. That is why it's so great. And but I also noticed that it kind of breaks my ends because they're just too dry, and the ball bristles are quite strong. And yeah, so. In the end, I just knew, like inside, I just believe hair care doesn't need animal products. Like, it has to be possible without an animal to suffer or die. And personally, I'm pretty sure that most of the boars do have to die for the boar bristle brushes. Because it's just, yeah, it's just common, like. I don't think it's only a side product like the, the waste that comes when they die anyway. I do think they are also killed just for the sake of their bristles. So yeah, um, enough about that. And so I am going to look into buying a wooden comb or a wooden brush. Because wood is also meant to distribute the oils very well. For now... Where is it? Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. For now, I have this comb, and it seems like plastic, but I do admit that it's not. I've always had that one. It is like, it is horn. So it is an animal product, and that is why I don't want to use. Like, I'm fine with using it now because. I've always had it and I don't see the point in just, you know, wasting and throwing away stuff that you already bought and you can't reverse. Like, I can't undo it that I somehow, when I was a child, got this one. And <laughs> so, 
yeah. So I found out now that it's actually horn and not plastic, which I don't like, but I still have it. And it does have the great effect that it also distributes the oils wonderfully. But I'm looking into buying a wooden comb or brush, which is supposed to work for that as well. Why don't I think that... Why do I think that we do not need animal products to distribute the oils? Well, while I do think that they work great to do so, I don't think that when we live like in the wild, we as humans like ran and killed the animal just to make a comb out of it. Like that is just it takes too much too much energy and it's too dangerous. I don't know. I don't think that was like the common way for humans to care for their hair. I think they just, I just used some common sense. I think in the wild, in the nature, we would jump into the pool once a day. You know, we would, we would live in a warm climate, tropical, and we would jump into the pool like that is how our hair would get washed and use our fingers to comb them. Like, and then maybe make something out of wood if, if with our fingers it's too elaborate or something. Um, but that's basically it, I think. What do you guys think? I'm really interested. Um, what do you think would we do in nature if we didn't have any civilized products? Um, so, yeah, that is why I don't use a barbarous brush and I'm looking into a wooden comb. So, I'm starting off with my hands. I'm trying to de detangle my hair. And for now, you can see, so it's in the middle of the day, it looks quite good. Like, for not having washed it for one month, it, I'm really, really happy with it. And it feels moisturized than never before. Like, really, I'm not kidding you. And so, I think I'm going to do another video on the actual preening. Uh, itself because otherwise it's just getting too long. Is there something else I was gonna tell you? Actually, you will see in the next video. <laughs> what am I talking about all the time? So <laughs> just watch it. <laughs> see ya!